Hi everybody, John and Chuck here. We have uh, taken apart this, uh, I don't know, 10 year old gel cell. Yeah, and uh, what I wanted to show you is some interesting stuff. Look at the plates in here. And so these just pull apart. Make sure you wash your hands because if I slur my words, I've been lead poisoned. Um, this is just like a paper towel that's folded over many times and soaked with uh, a solution of acid. Of course, there's no... It dries out, and then, of course, the battery doesn't conduct. But it's about this thick between the plates. It's about the thickness of the plates. And uh, there's one thing to notice here about this is you might want to keep this when you cut the top off. It's really easy to do. And then you've got some lead here that you can goof around with. But uh, this is really interesting because we're going to got a cup of alum here and we're going to solder some wires to these plates like, like, like we did right here. We're just going to set them in the alum water here. Just like that. And these are already formed, but there's one thing to notice here is um, you can see the thickness of this plate. It's not very thick at all. But the red lead plate, the one with the active material, is pretty darn thick. And see, it's not important with a negative plate. It's more important with a positive plate because this is your active material. So I'll be back here when we get it running. Okay, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to take this insulator that I showed you and I'm going to go wash this out in distilled water. And I'll be right back and then we'll soak it in the elm solution and then we'll just put the two plates between it while we're on the oscillator. We'll be back. So I'm back and uh, I've, I've washed this out but I'm going to warn you about this material here that it wants to fall apart when you completely wash it out so you might be better off just taking a paper towel like this but I'm going to go ahead and soak it in the elm and then Chuck's going to pull that plate and he's just going to put this on this side and then the red plate of course you got to sit with the terminal the other direction The other way, yeah. So we've di we've done nothing to this. And we're just going to rub it, rubber band it together. We'll probably put a. I know cable ties might be better. I got that suggestion on one of the videos, but you know what? I have rubber bands. So okay. So now there's not very much here. So we could just put it down in the elm if we wanted to. So just go ahead, and we'll see if it runs the oscillator just the way it is. Oh yeah, wash your hands. Um, mm -hmm. Even though I know you grew up here, Chuck, in the lead mines. <laughs> um, and this battery was completely dead, by the way. It didn't have any voltage because this dries out in here and if you put wooden separators in between here and then put it back in the case it work. Looks like we might need to add a charge. Yeah, you do have to charge it because it's been sitting sulfated. I'm going to go wash my hands now. Okay, so we'll be back and I'll add a little charge to it. We'll see. Okay, sorry about that. Um, I should have realized that these we're sitting completely dry and so you have to form them but uh, I just hooked it up to this three volts here and uh, you can see in there I hope but it's got slight little bubbles on it and I'll be back as soon as it's going here so anyway I've taken it over to the power supply and you can see in there it's bubbling and uh, 
What actually happens in these lead acid batteries is both plates become the same. And so, and once that dries up, then the sulfation occurs really at a great level on the plates. And so, that's why I said if you're going to restore these to reverse the current and then bring the current back the other direction. So, we'll let this go for about two minutes and then we'll run the oscillators. I'll be back. Okay, this approximately took one minute. And there you have it. I can pull it out. And there you, once you reverse them, and then put the current back the correct direction, you'll have a good battery. And a good strong Elm battery, you can see that. And that's just Elm now. So, in the solution it's far brighter. So, here you have it. So I'll show you one more time. It's very easy to take these apart and you just wash them out. Make sure you wash them. And make sure you wash your hands after that. And uh, you can do basically what you want. So if we made a thick paste of elm, and we put it in here, and we put the plates that we wanted back in here, and we want sort of like a a goo, you know, like a like a thick glue, uh, because and we want it just over the plates. So because we don't want any crystal to grow, so we want just the right amount of water, distilled water, when you do this. But this got some pretty good current, and uh, there's really no mess to doing this. To, you don't really make a mess. You just put these right back in. But anyway, we wanted to share that little helm battery with you. And that's all it is. So you could wrap paper around this and then just soak it when you need to soak it and charge it. And the nice thing about this is they hold the current and they take minimal charge. You only need a minimum charge of charges. So thanks for watching.